adorable mini fairy journal to share with you today. And seriously, how cute is it in this little polka dot bag from Junk That Treasures? She has an Etsy shop full of very affordably priced <clears throat> junk journaling, paper crafting supplies. And what this bag is um, one she sent me from her shop. But I chose it to mail this little custom order in. I'm just going to say right now it's Saturday morning. You will hear my boys in the background. There's nothing I can do about it. Anyway, so as you can see, it is a pink and blue themed journal with polka dots. So I thought that was so cute in that bag. And this is a three and a half by five and a half size. So it's about hand size. It is so cute. So the way I made the cover, it is this homemade now i didn't make it um it's like store-bought homemade paper so i'm not sure exactly who made it factory homemade i'm not sure but it has a really um soft thick texture and you can see all the fibers and everything in it it just feels so amazing so that is what the cover is constructed out of and then i sewed on this piece of kind of lace polka dotted fabric over it and then I found this image from the Graphics Fairy, and I added some Wink of Stella to the fairy's wings. I printed it on light blue cardstock, sewed around here, and then added trim that goes all the way around and a little Prima flower. I think that's a Prima flower. It was just floating around a mustache. All right, so here we go. So here in the first page, I guess I need to set this down. The paper is so um, fibrous. <laughs> So it stuck to a stray piece of glue there. All right. So I also used a bunch of fairy images from Digital Collage Club. And check out their, her website. She has, I believe, well over 500 different collage sheets and things like that. So this is a little fairy um, prince and princess, it looks like here. And I turned it into a mini tuck spot and made this little butterfly um, tab card right there. The paper's coffee dyed. And then this beautiful shimmery lace kind of borders this. And I had it stick out a little bit so it peeks just a little bit out of the book. And then lots of different sizes of paper. Here's a hidden pocket so you can put something in there. There's this beautiful green flowered paper on this side. And then Hannon, um, Hannon's music exercise paper on this side. And then this is a mini fairy postcard from Digital Collage Club. And it's, this one's really cute because it has little, little bugs and bees playing musical instruments for the fairies. And then here's some washi that says good things and nice. I have this piece of paper in my stash and it's like a big, huge cutout sheet of um, butterflies. So I cut um, some of that down to put in here. And then there's some lace on this page. And I did some stenciling here. More coffee dyed paper. This... I love this glittered paper. I found it at Tuesday morning and it is soft. It is not rough like the other glittered paper, but it is so sparkly. So we have a silver piece in there and the other side of it is a semi-gloss white. So that's really pretty. And then I added this little tag that says believe. Here's a coffee dyed doily. This um, doily is also from Junk That Treasures and I just coffee dyed it and cut it down. Another um, Digital Collage Club fairy postcard with a little butterfly here on the side. And then some um, cut out bow and heart washi here. I found this sheet of vellum paper in one of my paper pads um, that I had gotten from Michael's. And it has this golden script on it. And to me it was like fairy writing. So I added that. And another secret pocket. And some blue lace on this blue floral paper here. And then in the middle of the book, there's Glimmer Mist, and then I use Perfect Pearls on this Graphic 45 stamp that says Enchanted Forest. So that's kind of the fairy Enchanted Forest theme. Another secret pocket. More of the um, golden writing. Another tuck spot. This is another um, image from Digital Collage Club. And then I made a tag out of this floral. Um, it was like a gardening book. And I made a tag out of that. This little circle is also from Digital Collage Club. A little fairy playing a flute. And then some pretty washi. And it says secrets. And then this side of the silver paper. I left this strip on the top that had the hole. So I put a garment pin. 
and hung a little bit of uh, flowered floral lace. And um, this is also from Junk That Treasures, the laces. More stenciling. Another postcard there. Washi, another secret pocket. And another digital collage club fairy. And that is the end. So this little darling of a journal is going to be on its way to its new home. But I was excited to share it with you because it came out so cute. I want to keep it. So anyway, I hope that inspired you to try this size. Three and a half by five and a half is the size of the cover. And um, I think it fits little the little things you have really well. Um, just adorable. So anyway, enough talking. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.